Welcome to Testing AI. In this channel, I break down different AI tools and keep you up to date with the AI world. If you like this video, make sure to hit subscribe. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use ChatGPT to send tweets. I'll mention two Chrome extensions, one of which is free and the other one is paid. I'm going to first use the Chrome extensions to send a random tweet. And after that, I'll send replies to three different kinds of posts, a professional tweet, an Elon Musk tweet, and a controversial tweet. Before I get started, I wanted to mention that I'm trying to reach 1000 subscribers. So if you get some value from this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button. The first app is called TweetGPT. The link is provided in the description of this video. After you have it installed, make sure you have it pinned from the extension bar. Click on this small blue icon and make sure that these three checkboxes are enabled. Now you can head to the Twitter homepage and log in. Make sure to also be logged in on ChatGPT. Refresh your Twitter page until you see this robot icon right there. The one limitation I've seen is if you try to send a tweet on a specific subject, say Shiba Inu here, it doesn't really take the context of what you type and still generates a random tweet. So I don't think it's of much use if you try to send original tweets. It does a good job at sending random tweets and posts. However, it does a better job when you try to reply on other people's tweets. So this one is from Greg Brockman who made a tweet about OpenAI and how he doesn't want to bucket people into researchers or engineers. Alan Kay advised that they use the term member of technical staff and they loved and adopted it. So this is a very professional tweet and if I try to reply to this tweet and use the robot icon again, it does generate a tweet which is related to the post. So this one it says our matey, the title me member of technical staff be a wise choice. So this is um, ChatGPT replying like a pirate. While this is funny, it does respond in accordance with the actual tweet it's trying to reply to. Let me try another one. So this one is a lot more professional. While member of technical staff may sound cool, it's important to acknowledge the historical context of homogenizing job titles in tech industry, obscuring the diversity of roles and experiences and perpetuating the oppressive structures. Let's strive for more inclusivity. This one is a lot more relevant to someone who sounds like an engineer working in tech in the Bay Area. Let me try one more tweet. Awesome. Empowering employees with unique job titles breaks away from traditional norms and fosters a creative and innovative work environment. Glad to see OpenAI and other companies taking inspiration from Xerox PAX and Alan Kay's advice, keep pushing boundaries. So this sounds like a real reply that I would post. It's not sarcastic. It's not sounding like a pirate. It sounds like a professional reply to a professional post. All right, for the Elon Musk reply, I'm going to go to Elon Musk's Twitter. And Elon Musk just made this post yesterday. That starting today, Twitter will share ad revenue with creators for ads that appear in their reply feeds. Let's try to generate a reply with this using TweetGPT. Awesome news. This is a big step in supporting and empowering content creators. Great to see Twitter recognizing the value of your hard work keep creating and sharing your amazing content. While this does sound a bit generic, I think this is a lot more professional as a reply and not really sarcastic or taking uh, or sounding like a cowboy. You might have to try a few of these replies to see uh, what kind of things it generates. Wow, this is amazing news. Finally, Twitter is recognizing the value that creators bring to the platform. This will give them a well-deserved financial boost and encourage even more creativity and engagement. Can't wait to see the impact of this change. This is generic, but it is relevant to the actual post. So it does mention Twitter and how it's recognizing the value of creators. So overall, I think after a few tries, uh, TweetGPT does give you a valuable response that you can actually post. The last one is a controversial tweet that I found and I wanted to use this because I wanted to see if it chooses not to respond to this or if it is something that it re responds sarcastically or like a cowboy again. So Rob Schneider, who's an actor, just made a comment about, about the, chi the Chinese spy balloon that's a controversy that's going on. So he mentioned that the same government that says it doesn't want to poke a hole in the experimental Chinese spy balloon because it might injure people and then he says something about the pandemic. So this is a controversial post and there's a lot of discussions going on about what he said. So I'm going to see how 2GPT responds to this Twitter.
I understand your concerns about the government actions. It's important to hold those in power accountable and ensure that their decisions align with ethical standards and prioritize the well-being of citizens. Let's continue to raise our voices and ad advocate for transparency and fairness. It seems like 3GPT supports and understands the concerns that Rob Schneider has. Let me try another one. Interesting perspective. Perhaps considering the differences in safety regulations, efficacy, and potential outcomes might offer some clarifications on the decision-making process. I like that it does not necessarily attack Rob Schneider on his opinions, but understand what where he's coming from and curate a response based on that. I think I want to do one more attempt. Wow, this is quite a revelation. The inconsistencies in government actions never cease to amaze. It's important to question their priorities and hold them accountable for their decisions. So this one actually takes the stance of almost supporting Rob Schneider on his post. As you see, the responses can vary all the way from uh, being against an opinion all the way to supporting an opinion. So it's truly random. It does seem that TweetGPT does not have kind of a political lean and uh, that's actually cool it's kind of neutral in that way and it does randomize its posts all right now that i have tried out all the variations with my free chrome extension i wanted to mention a paid one it's called twee gpt3 you can find more about them in their website twee3.com when you install this one it will show up as this option right here on your twitter feed it gives six different kinds of options for posting tweets there's the basic tweet emoji filled tweet call to action, ask a question, and custom prompt. The problem is there is no real trial versions. If you type something, say Elon Musk, and try to click it, it asks you to pay for it before even starting to use it. The payment option is available on the Chrome extension right here, where you can click support project, and it brings up an option for you to pay $5 a month which is using a credit card. But I'm happy to pay and try it out if you would like a full tutorial. So if you do want me to do another video on 3PT3, please add a comment to the video. But overall, I think the free Chrome extension does a decent job at what it's promising. If your work requires a lot of tweeting, it might be worth using the paid Chrome extension. But for me, I don't personally need it, but I'm happy to do it for a video. If you got some value from this video, please hit the like and subscribe to my channel. Till the next video, thank you so much.